Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a little driving iron test. Yeah. We tested the Sim UDI. Um, we done a little bit of testing with the, the, the DHY, but we never actually got it on the channel. We just hit it when yeah. we got the samples. We had a super busy day with all the new tailor-made irons. So yeah. we tested it, but didn't have a chance to make a video. So that's what we're doing now. Today we have a two iron, 18 degree two iron in the UDI. Yeah. And we have an 18 degree three in the DHY. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are curious, Matty, when it comes to the, the, the gray space between your long iron and the hybrid yeah. and, and kind of what lies in between. And I think that's what TaylorMade are still searching for. The number of people that I play with that are either messing around with some kind of mm -hmm. utility iron like this who aren't big fans of hybrids. I've even played with people that are getting rid of their fairway wood mm. in, in search of something like this. I think it just makes sense to have this is now three for them, right? They've yep. got P790, SIM, and DHY. That's right, yep. yeah. And, and you know, myself, I've used the P790 UDI and loved it. It's great. Um, the, the, the SIM UDI has, has definitely has my attention it, to, yeah. to try it. Yeah, I would, I'd be very curious to see if I can achieve the same same ball flight, very unique ball flight. I kind of really like a low flight to come off of that. Definitely. Um, and you would expect the SIM UDI over the, the DHY to have that very different footprint looking down on so it. So different very generous in its profile, the, the DHY, but the, the SIM UDI is, is still very much a player's profile. Absolutely, I think it addressed, it's, it's obviously just got a little bit more visible at the back mm -hmm. of the, uh, I guess the back um, portion versus yep. the P790 that basically is just an iron at address, yeah. isn't it? It, it, it strong iron. is, yeah. But it's, it's the forgiveness thing. So I think people are familiar with, I've tried a driving iron, I hit some great shots with mm -hmm. it, then I towed one and I was like, I hit it 40 yards. Like yeah. I, can't, I can't do that on the course, which is fair. Yep. That's where this one I think is yep. curious because if you're willing to accept the fact that it's less traditional mm -hmm. looking, you can maybe get the flight that you're talking about and the playability that yep. you're talking about, but have at least some forgiveness. The, the footprint of the head also is, is, that's what gives the, the manufacturers the opportunity to put in some of the technology that they have. Mm. So the UDI, the 790 UDI is very small, very thin, obviously front to back. So you can't really move the CG around too much in that one. Whereas if you look at the DHY, yeah. um, that's, that's a significantly different profile, shallower in the head, wider, you know, you can really change the characteristics of how that head plays. So you would think, we'll hopefully see that DHY is maybe a little easier to elevate. I, would, I would expect that to be the case based yeah. on, on kind of just the, the, the profile of it. I would expect that to be the one that launches up a little bit. Gotcha. So why don't we, we've obviously reviewed this. We'll get yeah, a little baseline. Let's get some baseline. Because you made a good point. It's really about why would you do one over the other. Okay. So let's get a yeah. same day comparison. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go UDI. Good boy. Very flat. Very flat. With your own driving iron, Matty, do you feel like you have versatility with the, the flight? Can you move it up and down? Or is it a bit more one dimensional? And, it's and very kind of mid when yeah. I hit it well. I can mid definitely to hit low, it. Mid to low, not, not really high. I can't high. really hit it super high. And yeah. that, I wouldn't blame the club. Well, the other thing is as well, your version of mid is still. Yeah, I guess you're Everyone right. else is That's high. It. I mean, it's not really <laughs> achievable for, for a lot of people to hit it at 100 feet when the, the ball's on the ground. You do make a good point there. I, I'm probably warped in my perception of it. To me, hitting it high is more like a 140 foot shot yeah, or something, yeah. so. That's a goodie. That's nice. It's flying basically like mine does. Similar, mine's got a little more loft, but it's pretty similar in the look of the flight. Mm. A sneaky little hot, hot flight to that. Does. Nine launch, 151 ball speed. A little driver, eh? Mm -hmm. Mini driver. All right. That's a little roasty one. Yep, yep. If you need to hit that little, little draw out there. That's good. Are we Tina? A little toey, but it wasn't too bad. It looks like I just dropped a bunch of spin. Mm -hmm. The ball speed was okay, though. Call that sort of an acceptable miss. That reminds me of like, if I miss one with mine a bit, that's kind of what it looks like. It just turns over too much. One other element I think you're missing with this is the ability to flatten it. Oh, I didn't even think right. of that. So, you, yeah. I mean, you, and you can with these, if you have the right equipment, you, you know, you can, you just have to be careful with the pressure against mm. the hollow cavity. 
So it's more of a wood bending kit that you would yeah, use for this? Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah. You need to, you'd, if you had the right stuff, you could, but this to me would be something that I would be a little concerned um, on, on you turning it over a bit because of that dynamic lie. It's a little unstable in that sense, yeah. but for most people, they would be just fine with it, I guess. Yeah, and, and we'll probably, we might even see, as long as the shaft isn't dripping too much, we might even see the Good other one slightly, slightly more to up. Nice. Okay, well, let's see what this guy does. Yeah. All righty. Okay. The beast. Looks a little different, this Definitely. one, doesn't it? Confidence inspiring. I feel like you look at that and not be quite as nervous as something like that. And, and for the Adams enthusiasts out there, DHY, yeah. well, yep. they'll remember that from, um, from a, a few versions of, of the Adams driving irons that were out there. And before anyone says, oh, they stole it from Adams, they own Adams. They own it. It's one of the reasons they bought it. So they Adams. didn't steal it, they bought yeah. it, fair and yep. square. Exactly. Yeah, good call. That's exactly what this looks like. Tell we to start. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you got away with it though. I mean, it flew 250. It's totally fine. I would say more of what a directional penalty, eh? Yep. Just a little turn. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I would accept it. Better. That sounded good. Yeah, better. Hmm. Kind of seems like it covers the same yardage. It's the other guy. There's a little difference, and certainly in the. Uh, the flight's up a little bit. We could have put them side by side. We, we are seeing that little difference. Okay, gotcha. Separation. Yeah, so really, really launch pattern is, is the biggest difference. Strike is very, very similar. Yeah, loft is the same. Head. So that's a good little illustration. So just it's just the CG location that it allows the same loft to produce more height? Yep. Huh. That's better. Sounded nice. It's well hit. Yeah, so a better strike gave me a little more spin too. That's a lovely strike. It's really nice. Yeah, I would almost say that that would be more of the expected strike height on, on these particular clubs. Yeah, that's where I, I think it's designed to, to yeah. strike it. Sound is solid. Yeah, that's good. Get that one a little more neutral too. Okay, hit a couple more with that UDI. Okay. Nice. It's lower for yeah, sure. Yeah, for me, when I see you hit this, it reminds me of you hitting like a, like a you know, nine degree sim or a nine degree Maverick Sub Zero that, yeah. with the weight forward. Super flat. Kind of does, it goes flat and it kind of likes to shape around a little bit and things mm -hmm. like that. Just that little kind of, just a little less stable. You can see those, those ones. It just really wants to curve. Definitely like the spin reducing flight. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't obviously don't spin yeah. it a ton, so it's. Let me try to get a little bit more across one. Okay. See if I can bring it up a hair. Yeah, you can just see this better yeah. flight change slightly on it. Certainly, certainly not high spin though. That was still only like 32. Well, interesting. Uh, there, there's your nugget there for the for the the shot shapers out there. Um, you know, the, the players who do play a cut, mm. maybe Sim UDI is going to find you in the more of that mid-flight range, DHY might go too high, and for the, the guys who draw it, or the girls who draw it, um, you know, maybe the, the other way around, DHY has a lower CG, so we'll give you that height that you need. Let me hit one last one with yep. DHY, I'll try to hit the same shot if I can. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, it has a, it has a more of a an up gear, thirty seven hundred spin that time. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> so side by side, you, you've kind of got your your flight choices. Really, the end result, Matt, is not not a whole lot different. Good point. Not not dramatically different on ball speed or anything else. You're just going to hit DHY purely higher. Yeah, absolutely. Some people might be surprised that you turned UDI over a little bit more, but again, that's just narrow in the spin loft window and, and being able to tilt the spin axis a little bit more easily. It's a good catch because don't look at that and go, the sim UDI is like draw bias. It's just, it's just way lower spin, Yeah. so it curves easier. Yeah, and, and that little uh, interesting element we saw with the dynamic lie angle, it, so it's half. 
So oh, DHY yeah. is sitting a little bit more toe down, um, which is playing its, its role as well. Maybe more weight towards the toe of the club or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want to say this is probably pretty close to what they had in mind when they designed it. Yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I think engineers would be pretty pleased to see this. Yeah, I think so. You know, it's quite similar results. The player walks into the fit. They have a flight window in mind. One may need it for second shots. One may need it for off the tee. I think if you're hitting it off the tee, you're probably going to lean towards the Sim UDI. I agree. Uh, I think if you're using it from tee and fairway, I think you might like to see what the, the DHY does, especially if you have a slightly slower swing speed and you have a little bit of a tougher time elevating the golf ball. DHY for that guy, Matty, I think is going to be really pleased I think with that's what well it does. Said. I, would, I wouldn't love that because I do hit this off the yeah. turf a decent amount on longer holes yeah. if I'm into a par five. Mm. I would have a little more confidence in, in DHY for that. I remember hitting that DHY when we had it in that last time and it had whatever the stock regular was, uh, stock shaft, sorry, and it was a regular flex, that might have been like a Diamant or something mm -hmm. like that. And I remember how high it went, it shocked me. Yeah. I remember saying to you, oh, yeah, like, you were this like, thing's floating, this thing's perfect, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really, really sneaky long and things like that, but um, just goes to show as well, like, with, it, with obviously the right shaft in it, it's entirely different. Animal. It's entirely different, yeah. And, and these are, I think this is, I'm glad Taylor made was good enough to send us yeah. stuff that's close. Is this the exact shaft I would play? Probably not. Yeah. Um, I might get better results from that Ventus that I, I used in the other one, but yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a really nice head. Okay, options. I mean, these things, I just think these things continue, along with hybrids and things like that, they, they just continue to drive a nail into the coffin of, of the three iron uh, for, <laughs> for people. You know, it's Goodbye. just the way it is. You know, it's, unless it's, a, you're, I can't even really make a case that much for the three iron anymore, the, the average three iron. You really like to shape it and things like that, or you're a really top, top ball striker, but these are just so easy to hit. I mean, you'll probably, you'll probably be the first to tell me that you, you didn't hit all of those your best. No, for sure The I difference didn't. between a good one and a bad one was, was next to negligible. In here, I'm hyper picky because I just want to make sure the data is yeah. fair. But if I'm hitting most of those shots outside and they're on my target line within 10 yards of the expected difference, I know. what else do you oh, want? You're not, yeah, you're not picking the holes and no. those on, on the golf course not because you're, you know, you're much more result orientated uh, on the golf course and, and, and those all flew fantastically well. Yeah, really nice flights. Um, a P790 combo set. Like if this was your long irons, I know. it'd be good. Use the yeah. longest loft, the ones for the, you can get a three and a four in this DHY. Well, that's the thing, a two, three, four, and five. We well, can get a five. We can get a five in it. That's um, pretty interesting. Yeah, two and a three in the same UDI. So hmm. for, for the player who just, just struggles with a, uh, struggles with a long iron, but doesn't really want to give in and go to a hybrid. I think that's a great, great way that's, of putting it. There's yeah. a lot of those people out there as well, isn't 100%. there? 100%. Yeah. don't want to give that up yet. It's still kind of an iron. I get it. It's bigger. Yeah. But it will blend into your set easier. If you don't like hybrids, it's a bit yeah. shorter. You won't get too sweepy with it, right? Shorter Absolutely. shafts, so. Good. Okay, guys, um, hopefully that kind of appealed to, to some of you who have been thinking about this. Obviously, lots more to come in the utility irons and, and these, this little space between, like we say, the long iron and, and, the, and the rescue club, the hybrid. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.